Hello, my name is Ye Ji Seok, and I'm a graduate student who studies nursing from South Korea in Gyeongbuk National University. I want to talk to you about the influence of caregivers' preparedness and lower burden on quality of life among stroke patients. Although patients survive after a stroke, stroke patients may experience disability in mobility, sensation, cognition, and speech and language. For that reason, stroke patients require a considerable amount of time for rehabilitation to recover functions in the body. However, the patient's quality of life may rise due to family caregivers' preparedness and decreased lower burden. The objective of this study is to investigate prediction of caregivers' preparedness and lower burden on stroke patients' quality of life. To perform the study, 153 groups of stroke patients and family caregivers were recruited from June to August 2021. The target populations were stroke patients who were hospitalized for rehabilitation and care provider who were the family members of the patient. Data were collected from self-reported questionnaire and analyzed using SPSS 28 statistic programs such as descriptive statistic, t-test, chi-square test, 1A analysis of variance, Pearson correlation coefficient, and multiple regression. The results from the data analysis reveal that family caregivers prepared this affected stroke patients' mobility, personality, and production activities in quality of life. In addition, the total burden of family caregivers' affective language skill, visual function, thinking skill, mood conditions, family laws, and social laws. While the caregivers' burden of performing self-protection negatively affected patients' social law. Moreover, caregivers' lower burden of personal life sacrifice affected patients' mobility, self-care, and energy. This study found that family caregivers' preparedness and lower burden affected stroke patients' quality of life in many aspects. The results of this study suggested that intervention to improve family caregivers' preparedness and to reduce low burden should be required for quality of life in stroke patients. Thank you.